Hypersonic weapons refer to weapons that travel at speeds between Mach 5 to Mach 10, that is 3,800 miles per hour, to 7,700 miles per hour, or 5 to 10 times the speed of sound. Hypersonic weapons have the capability to maneuver during the entire flight. So far, Russia is sufficiently advanced in hypersonic missile technology that it will be the first to field operational hypersonic weapons. The Russian Navy will likely be the first to yield hypersonic weapons the Zircon cruise missile. Zircon, a missile that can allegedly fly at speeds in excess of 6,000 miles per hour. Zircon will reportedly fly at Mach 8 or 6,138 miles an hour. Zircon likely uses a scramjet, short for supersonic combustion ramjet for propulsion. A scramjet is an air-breathing engine that takes in air at supersonic speeds, allowing it to work efficiently at high Mach numbers. Scramjets require their hosting body to be already moving at supersonic speeds to work properly. So, Zircon uses a rocket booster to exit the submarine and accelerate to speeds where the scramjet can take over. Zircon could be used to launch lightning fast strikes against targets on land or enemy battle groups at sea, including US aircraft carriers, knocking them out in minutes. Zircon can fly at maximum altitude of 30,000 to 40,000 meters. At this altitude, Zircon then flies straight at its target in a shallow dive at more than 6,000 miles per hour. Powerful enemy radars can detect warheads at 50 to 200 miles and giving them enough time to strike down the missile in two minutes. Zircon, on the other hand, would have hit the target, becoming unstoppable by the time the enemy cruisers or destroyers launch their strike force. Assuming Zircon flies at an altitude of 200 feet, about typical for a cruise missile, a surface ship will detect Zircon at a distance of just 34 miles. In this scenario, the targeted ship has less than 20 seconds to down the incoming Zircon missile. That's hardly enough time for the defending ship commander to process what is happening, let alone launch missiles to shoot the incoming hypersonic missile down. All is not lost, however. Defenders can buy time against the hypersonic threat by placing their radar at a higher altitude, detecting missiles like Zircon at greater distances. Another helpful measure would be to automate the ship's defense system, allowing an artificial intelligence to respond to threats automatically and without a man in the loop, which is a risky proposition if fighting takes place where civilian ships and planes might be present. Zircon is likely armed with both conventional and nuclear warheads, the latter particularly useful targeting enemy fleets. Missiles moving at a Mach 8 are difficult to steer and a conventionally armed Zircon aimed at a moving ship could miss its target entirely. One way to solve this is to arm the missile with a nuclear weapon. During the Cold War, Soviet anti-ship missiles were capable of carrying nuclear warheads, making them capable of knocking out an American aircraft carrier with one near miss. Facing the same adversary, the Russian Navy could elect to also arm Zircon with nuclear weapons. It's important to note that Russian President Vladimir Putin announced Zircon in 2018 along with five other weapon systems, all of which will carry nuclear weapons. The U.S. government is already concerned enough with the threat of low-flying subsonic cruise missiles to field the Joint Land Attack Cruise Missile Defense Elevated Netted Sensor System, or JLENS. JLENS consists of two radar-equipped aerostats anchored at 10,000 feet above the east coast, keeping watch against low-flying cruise missiles. Now, how the U.S. government would defend against a hypersonic decapitation strike is unknown. Zircon is one of six new weapon systems unveiled by Russian President Vladimir Putin last year during a State of the Nation speech. In addition to Zircon, Putin says Russia is working to deploy the Sarmat intercontinental ballistic missile, avant-garde hypersonic weapon, Kinzhal tactical hypersonic weapon, Posidon nuclear-armed long-range torpedo, and Burevesnik nuclear-powered cruise missile. 
so guys we've come to the end of the video we hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to hit the notification and the subscribe button and we will be coming back with more videos thank you for watching